Hi everybody, it's Anne, Anne Ellis, and I thought I would do a little film and show you how to do a reading for yourself with my Angel Oracle cards. This is the Time to Shine deck that we're going to use, and I'm going to use this simple A spread. So we'll get straight on with it. Each placement of the cards has a different meaning in the reading. So when I'm doing a reading with my cards, the top card here represents the situation that you're asking about. The card here is the hurdle that you'll possibly need to step over in order to achieve success. And this is the guidance on how to do it. The fourth card here are the tools and talents that you have in order to help you do that. The fifth card here is how to pull it all together. It's a bit like, so what am I supposed to do now? How it all gets pulled together. And the final card here is the outcome based on the energy at the moment. So if there's a card here that you would like to perhaps improve on, we simply change the energy. We simply change and do something different. So the next thing I want to talk about is your question. So keep it simple. Generally, I use a question like, what do I need to know about this situation? What guidance can you give me about this situation? What can I learn? What am I learning from this situation? So, my question now, just as a general reading, is what guidance can you give me about my new business venture? My next new idea. So what we do is we turn all the cards over. And the first thing we do is we have a look to see if there's any one particular suit which is more prevalent than the rest. Well, this is quite balanced. We have two major arcanas, two wisdom suits and two emotion suits. That's fairly balanced. There's not all any more of one particular one. So these are the sit up and take notice cards. These are to do how we're thinking about things, how we process information. So getting on with the reading, what guidance can you give me about my next step for my next business venture? Number one, the basis of it is time to enjoy contented family time, loving and re rewarding relationships. So that is telling me that the people that I am um, associating with, people I'm mixing with, people that I'm getting in touch with, that the relationships are trustworthy. So that's all good. That's absolutely great. The hurdle that I need to step over, the block. We've got a wisdom suit card here and it's time to pause, reflect on just how far you have come and climb to wonderful new heights. So this card, when this card shows up, it's telling me not to go rushing into anything. Just relax, realise how much work has gone into this, how far I've come, and be ready. Wonderful new things are coming, but we're just in a situation and just in a state of pausing right now and reflection. The guidance along with this, again, we've got a wisdom card. We need to really take notice. It's number 12. I love this card. And it's time to celebrate your individuality and find new perspectives. Look at things in a positive new light and with this card it says just be wonderful you 
Don't try to be anybody else. So the message for me here in this case is just be me. Don't try to do anything like anybody else. Be your individual self and walk your own path. Moving on to this card, this is the tools and the talents and all the skills I have and which ones I need to use to move me forward. And this is from this card is from the action suit. So it's very much about doing and not thinking about doing. And it's card number three. And the message with this card, it's time to dream big dreams. Enjoy abundance and make new plans and keep moving forward. This card is all about long term planning, looking at the bigger picture. Look at the angel on the card. She's sitting here. She's dreaming dreams, big dreams, even bigger dreams and really big dreams. So this is making plans for the bigger picture, long term future. How do we pull it all together? We've got a card here from the life suit. This is about job. It's about career. It's about money. It's about everyday life. And it's card number seven. Time to pause. Have a rest. No need to worry. Just give it time. All is well. And our lovely angel here, she's been planting seeds and watering them. She's got them planted. These are actually growing now. She's seeing signs of success. She's visualising what a beautiful flower, a lovely outcome is coming. So with this card, how do we pull it all together? Know that the seeds are well planted and abundance is on its way. Now, if we leave things as they are at the moment, the outcome... Again, it's an emotion card. This is absolutely beautiful. It's card number seven. Time to choose with care. Make good choices and decisions. So the outcome with this, when we follow all the guidance, is when the opportunities come in, look at them all very carefully. Is it really what you want? Is it what you really, really want? Dot the I's, cross the T's. Choose carefully. Always choose the sunflower. You've got a choice here. She's got a cactus or a sunflower. We need to pick the sunflower. So that's a lovely little hint, a little bit of gorgeous guidance saying when this all comes to fruition, choose carefully. Choose from the heart. Choose with love and kindness. So just to round off, the situation was telling me that rewarding and trustworthy relationships are already in place. And look, that's the lovely angel family all having quality time together and a lovely cup of tea. The block is to realise actually how far you've come, how well you're doing and be ready to climb to even Greater Heights, look at the lovely angel looking at the different pathways up the mountain. She's choosing those. She's ready to go even higher. So give yourself a break. Just pause, take time out and celebrate how far you've come. Be your own individual wonderful self. Celebrate being you and do things your way in your own absolutely wonderful style. Make long-term plans, look at the bigger picture, step back, dream big dreams, start visualising, manifesting, it's all happening and just wait because the seeds are coming through, it's just starting, just starting now, the seeds are peeping through, look in that little plant pot, she's all ready. So just wait and when the Lovely abundance comes in, choose with care. So that's how I would do a reading with my Time to Shine deck. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon.